Hey guys, it's your girl Naturally Naughty here. I'm here today to try out the new BH Liquid Foundation with you guys. So this is the foundation right here. It's called BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. I have the shade 225 Mocha. I tried to film this video once before actually and um, my mic was not plugged in so there was no sound. So this is not technically my first time trying it but I wanted it to still uh, refilm it and come on here and show you guys um, everything that I have since found out from wearing it once before and um, just show you how it looks and you get the package in the mail this is what it looks like right here as I said I have the shade 225 mocha let's read the claims on this foundation which are right here on the side of the package it says our new and improved BH liquid foundation now includes high hyaluronic i tried to say that in the last the last video that i filmed and i could not say it hyaluronic acid to help keep skin hydrated i'm guessing hyaluronic acid is something that hydrates the skin and um keeps you moisturized so this is going to be quite a dewy foundation the lightweight formula imparts a natural looking satin satin finish and provides medium to full coverage so i want you guys to see for yourselves what you think about this foundation so we're going to go ahead and try it on together right now i have a fresh face i did do my eye makeup so i wouldn't have to do that later because this is all about the foundation so i just went on and did my eye makeup and my lashes for the eyes i did use this carly bible palette which is also by bh cosmetics this is the deluxe edition and i had i have used this palette before but i had a very good experience with it today um, i think i'm finally figuring out how to use it this is quite a difficult palette to use in my opinion um, and not all the shades are very brown girl friendly i do like this palette it's just not one of my faves to be honest but i love her so this foundation does come with a pump which is great and it's only $8.99 so this is a very very affordable foundation i'm going to do one side of my face with this l'oreal beauty sponge and um, i'm going to do the other side with a brush now that i have my hair clipped all out of the way it was everywhere i'm going to go ahead and pump on the back of my hand i'm just going i'm going to do two pumps because not a lot comes out with this um, foundation so i'm going to do two for one side of my face have a smell to it I don't know if you've ever used the elf flawless finish foundation um, but it smells a lot like that that one retails for six so this one is you know just a little bit more expensive um, but they smell very similar and like even like the texture and everything kind of sticky um, similar similar texture also to that elf foundation I'm liking this coverage like the coverage is really good I'm really really liking it and this color matches me very well they have 18 shades in this foundation so that's pretty good for it to only be you know $8.99 it ain't no fancy beauty you know with <laughs> the extreme amount of shades but it's also not $34. So I think 18 shades is pretty good for the price point. I blended like a freaking dream. It melted right into my skin. It is very hydrating and it is very um, dewy. I did not use a primer or anything on my skin today either. So we'll really see how this, this um, performs. Yeah, it looks beautiful. The shade is great too. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do two more and I'm gonna dot this on the other side of my face. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this BH Cosmetics 117 brush right here, and I'm gonna blend this out. So as you can see, looks really, really good. 
very dewy if you have extremely oily skin i'm actually not sure that you would like this you can set it you know with a lot of powder so if you do that you might be able to get away with it a little bit more dewy than i like and especially going into the fall season fall is usually about more of a matte skin look um, but if you have extremely dry skin, uh, you probably want some extra hydration during the, the cold winter, harsh winds, winter and fall uh, months. So um, if you have extremely dry skin, you will definitely love this. Uh, if you have normal to dry, you'll probably really like it, which is what I have. Um, it is a bit dewy if you have like normal to dry. So you, if you prefer more of a matte look, you could just set it with a lot of powder. And if you have extremely oily skin, I don't know if you're going to like it because it is pretty dewy. I'm going to show this part because it is a BH Cosmetic product that I got, a new one, the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer, and I have mine in 117. I really like the applicator on this concealer. It's like a, um, kind of like a lip gloss applicator. very easy to use the thing is when you put it down your center of your nose um everywhere but under your eye it's a bit awkward maybe not the chin and the cubis bow but when you try to do it down the center of your nose it's a bit awkward because it's kind of fat and you need you know something pretty precise to do those areas of your face It also doesn't seem like there's a lot of product in here. Um, as I mentioned, I tried to film this video before, so I have used this. And it almost feels like it's almost a little bit gone. So I'm just going to take my L'Oreal sponge and blend this out. So it blends out very nicely. It's very easy. I really like the coverage on this concealer also. I would definitely say this is medium coverage, a, f a good medium, not light and sheer at all, which is what I like. I don't like no light coverage concealer. I got bags. After blending that concealer out, this is what my face looks like. As you can see, still very dewy, but it looks really good. I really, really like that. Um, concealer a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with my normal makeup process. I'm going to set my face, finish up everything, then I'll come back and show you the finished product with this Alrighty foundation. Guys, so this is the finished look that I came up with. I think my face looks really, really good. Like, I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like this is kind of full coverage. I think because I did two pumps on each side of my face and it said medium to full coverage, I'm looking like full coverage right now. And the first time I used this foundation, I wasn't like, the well, first time that I tried to film this video, I wasn't completely sure that I liked it. But this looks really good. It looks freaking flawless. Flawless. I think it looks really, really good, guys, especially for $8.99. Like, it covered up like every imperfection that I have on my face. I have a couple of like scars um, on the side of my face from like acne gone. My dark circles, I think, with that concealer and the foundation gone. Pretty good for an eight dollar and ninety nine cents foundation, I must say.